Hey Jim, what do you think that blooming Tony's up to now? I don't know, but I'm sure that wasn't on the plans. Shh, I think he's coming. Yeah, you're right, he is coming. Quick, stand still. Oh, right, where was I? Oh yes, I was about to start recording. Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Right so this week what we're going to do this week we're going to start ballasting these tracks but before we do I'm going to put in a barrow across here. As you can see I've made a start and uh, this is just the actual foundations which I've just done. Um, used lollipop sticks. I've cut them 20 mil wide and what I'll do is I'll go over the top with these coffee stirring sticks to bring them up to the same height as the rails. And uh, I think I've done this once before over at Time Dock. Uh, let's go over there and we'll uh, show you what I mean. Phew! That was close. I thought we were going to get caught then. Here we are over at Tyne Dock and this is what the barrow should look like when it's finished. As you can see it's virtually level with the rails and uh, you don't know it but underneath there there is some um, lollipop sticks and I've just gone over the top with coffee stirring sticks and that just gives you the right height for the rails so you don't actually physically end up with a, with a slope so I just thought I'd uh, mention that right so I shall crack on with the barrel and then we'll start ballasting I have now finished the barrel um, so it's painted it's dry uh, it will need a lightening up some points a little bit too dark I think um, I have checked it with rolling stock so the the inner fills here does not clash with any wheels um, if you look closely where I've scribed it you can see that there's four individual uh, planks there so that tends to have worked out quite well the ballast has just been laid in there dry at the moment so I will give it the, the final sticking down solution in a minute. But um, I have covered up the point mechanisms to stop any ballast falling in there when I was doing the ballasting. And I've also um, added the point motors. Now you've seen these before. These were all You can lightly spray it. Um, with some water solution with a little tiny bit of uh, washing up liquid in it only, only a drop or two very very small amounts and um, that will absorb into the ballast and uh, it will then seep through and soak it quite well uh, I have done videos before on ballasting if you check out the one for the South Shields build back in 2019 going on to 20 when I did the track and then you'll see the full process of how I did the ballasting but uh, so yeah so I'll crack on with this and once this is done we might be able to get some side walls up which would be cool so that's the ballasting done um, left it to dry overnight so it's gone rock hard now especially with the heat up in the loft and um, yeah uh, as you probably noticed it's not all the same shade it's all browns and blacks um, just as it was for real um, the next thing I want to do is weather the ballast down um, in station areas it would be really dark black and grimy 
So that's what I've got to add there. And this is the ballast that I used. It's the B1375. It's quite fine. They probably use it for engage, but uh, I just think because it's nice and fine ballast, it just makes the track work just look that more realistic. So what I'm doing now is I'm just scraping off a ballast off the sleepers especially where I've got too much on there and just making sure that the motors still freely move which they do, they haven't stuck down that's probably because I didn't put that much ballast in the area so what I've got to do now is where it's, where it's you can see the MDF in there and in there and in there I'll just put a little bit of black matte paint in there because you can see that uh, there's no ballast going into them areas where I've had the tape over it so it's just a case of painting that a jet black black matte so over the last few days I've been painting the rails on the tracks um, and also blackening out the gaps um, where the point motors are as we uh, mentioned earlier on in the video so what I'm doing now I'm just giving the sleepers uh, between the rails a really black dirty wash because uh, well it's in a station and there's always engines coming into this one for the turnaround so I thought I'd really give this a filthy look now this wash is 50% water 50% acrylic paint and 25% PVA wood glue so by using the wood glue I'm not actually um, well slackening up the ballast to make it move so it's actually just adding a little bit of grip as well to the ballast rather than dislodging it so that's all it needs just a, a wash and uh, obviously I've done many videos of doing this before and um, I will put a video uh, in the link description below and also at the end of the video so you can um, have a look at uh, how I've ballasted and painted the tracks rather than me uh, doing a whole brand new video of this process yet again So this then just finishes off this and then uh, hopefully next week we can start looking at the retaining walls and um, maybe get stuck back into the buildings again. As you can see I'm going right up to the platform edge, trying not to, to touch the edge because I haven't done that yet don't get black paint on the edges just yet it's been pretty warm in the loft this week um, only had about an hour in the evening instead of the usual two hours and uh, but even so this is quite a good effort really getting all the, the ballasting done and the painting of the tracks done as well because this always does take a lot of time and effort
keep running the ballast too long it uh, starts loosening up the ballast hence why there's PVA in the paint right I think we're almost done here a little bit in there try not to get any on the sensor Right, we'll have to leave that to dry and then um, we can clean up the rails and then give it a test to see if the trains will, will run on it still. These are the paints that I used for painting the rails, matte 62 and a matte 33. 50% uh, each uh, gives, them, gives the paint a really um, like a dark greyish look with a hint of brown in it. Uh, that's what I used to paint inside the station area. Away from the station area I mixed just a fraction of the black into the brown which gives you this colour here. So obviously further away from the track, I mean the station, uh, the less um, grime on the rails as you can see there, lots of light brown as we come away from the station. Uh, similar to these rails that I did a few years back and they, they look quite well quite like the look of them I've still got to tone that brown down just a little bit a little bit more grey wash on there but yeah it's a big difference to what it was at the start of the video the tracks are looking more and more filthier um, what you would expect inside a station area with the grease, the oils, the coal dust and everything like that. So yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, what we've done this week. Uh, it's been a hot one, uh, it's going to get even hotter. So, uh, I think that's all from me this week. Enjoy your model railways. Bye for now. Bye. Is he gone? Of course he's gone. He's hardly been up here this week. Ah, uh, yeah. These younger blokes ain't got the stamina, are they? Not like us old folks. We know how to work hard and play hard. A little bit of heat. And I can't be bothered to come up here. It's a shame he didn't leave us by the pub. We could have had a drink. I know. My boots are starting to melt. Now it's not that hot. Yeah, I'm frozen to the platform. I can't blink and move. Don't be silly, you're a plastic figure. You're not going to move. I think he's coming back again. Oh, there's me camera. Cool.